Good evening everybody, I'm uh, Yanis Januar, and in this video we're going to read a D&D horror story. So, let's find a box, take a rest, and let's uh, chill out and read. This D&D horror story was posted by you slash delete it two years ago. And it is entitled, I died to a non-existent rule in session one. So, I'll set the scene. It was the first time in a while that I'd been able to play a PC instead of a DM. It was the DM's first time, no session zero, no backstory on the world, you know, an overall noob. Basically, I knew all I <clears throat> basically all I knew is that the people of this world hated magic. I elected to go with a basic human fighter cuz I wasn't that interested in combat. Hoku was going to be a psionic knight. You know, I mean, I'm I'm still new to D&D, so I don't know what a psionic is, really. In session one, we meet in the tavern. I earn the warlock's respect by throwing an axe perfectly. Describe it with a little bit of psionic flair. I had the psionic fleet, after all. I talk for a bit and hire the other players to help me and the barbar barbarian take over a special mountain. It had some fey magic in it. Pay for lodging for everybody, everybody goes to sleep, in the middle of the night, a bunch of guards wake us up. This is uh, starting to sound like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air a little bit. Apparently, the little bit of psionic flair I described the axe with was enough to alert the anti-magic. SEAL Team 6 and in no way to escape and no way to fight, we submit to their orders. We are taken to the capital city. It is, in fact, a few days' walk. I can feel the railroad coming a mile away. I decide to organize an escape. It attempted luring monsters to the campground. It goes off without a hitch. The barbarian and myself do some crowd control with the monsters where we need it. The rogue picks a lock on the handcuffs and lets the other fight out. And the party lose two. And we start to make our getaway with two, uh... The rogue didn't make it onto its horse and is, uh, falling behind because, uh... He's being chased by the general on his horse. I have me, the PC, the, the the writer. He has a good AC and a decent health. He could, he could take a hit, right? I mean, it's, he's, only, he's still level one, he, but, you know, he probably has like 13 health or something like that. You know, probably like an AC 17. Makes sense. I don't know. I don't, the psionic maybe he has more even. Who knows? Um, he's far enough away that he can't catch up to, uh, to the, the gang, so the OP slows down to pick up the rogue. And what do you think happens next? I think this is the climax. He get, what do you think happens next? If you're just like me, you're correct. He gets bloody kebobbed out of nowhere by a massive lance. That mofo moved like twice as fast as usual. He done double dash like a rogue on a horse. Uh, the DM made up some momentum rule that we were never told uh, that this ends up causing 38 bloody damage to your level one fighter and you would die instantly. I made up, uh, I make some, uh, some bloody uh, paladin for session two, but I really don't give a crap anymore. My my move is pretty much dead. I try not to be hard on him since it was you know the first time DM him, but it was pretty obvious to me that he didn't want us to break away from his railroad, so he killed one of us as a punishment. You know, probably got eaten by the monsters, so no bloody hope in being revived. Not really looking forward to the future sessions. Not looking forward to the next sessions. All the people in the game I tell this to just think it was fair because he said something about the rule being in Grim Hollow's book. Bloody not. Edit. This happened a while ago and I'd gotten over it, but I thought y'all would get a kick out of it. I agree. I, uh, I got a kick out of it. A nice boot. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, go find another story.